Breaking news. Join U.S. this Tuesday 14, 2023 at the Ware County School Board meeting at 6 p.m. Ware County School District. 1301 Bailey Street. Waycross, Georgia, 31501. To the general public, including news media outlets. As we demand the removal of the Ware County School Board Chief of Police for failure to perform the duties entrusted to him, and the immediate termination of Officer Kevin H. Parton and Ware Learning Center Principal Anthony Nasworth. Everyone please share this with your friends and tell your friends to do the same. On September 23, 2022, at Ware County Learning Center Latorska Jones, mother of a 16-year-old daughter, went to the school to check on an incident concerning how the child. The school principal Dr. Anthony Nasworth and the school resource OFC Kevin H. Parton fabricated a story stating that Ms. Jones threatened them, when in fact they both intentionally lied. OFC Kevin H. Parton willfully falsified an incident report that resulted in Ms. Jones being falsely arrested for a crime she is not guilty of. Also, please listen to the language of the school principal Dr. Anthony Nasworth in the video below. See the incident report and video and click the links below. 1. Incident Report https colon slash slash acrobat dot adobe dot com slash link slash review question mark yuri equal sign earn colon aid colon scds colon us colon six two eight eight a four one dash six eight four f dash three c sixty dash eight zero one nine dash five three nine b one dd two a f nine two video proof she did not threaten them video credit to george boston rhymes the ghetto free press On November 2, 2022, Ms. Jones was coerced, forced, into accepting a plea by her public defender, lie lawyer, W. Franklin Aspinwall Jr. stated, If you don't accept this plea then you are going to jail. Complaints are being filed with the State Bar of Georgia for the ineffectiveness of counsel. Ms. Jones is now on two years of probation and has to pay fines, but OFC Kevin H. Parton and Principal Anthony Nasworth are free to repeat this with another child and another mother. Ms. Jones's charges are disturbing public school, disorderly conduct, and terroristic threats and acts. On November 9, 2022, OFC Kevin H. Parton approached Ms. Jones' 16-year-old daughter and stated your mother is trying to get my job. As a result, the mother filed a warrant application in the Ware County Probate Court before Probate Court Judge Calvin Bennett, who should have rescued himself as requested, and Attorney Jeffrey Parker, representing Defendant Kevin H. Parton. Parker is also the juvenile judge. Both of these judges have a history of being unfair to people of color. Click the link below and listen to the hearing. 3. https colon slash slash youtube dot com slash watch question mark v equal sign two c v v m d u seven eight dash o ampersand s i equal sign and sagai c me omer. OFC Kevin H. Parton Records from Sylvester Police Department. Click the link below. 4. HTTPS colon slash slash acrobat dot adobe dot com slash link slash review question mark Yuri equal sign earn colon aid colon SCDS colon US colon ECD five B eight three D dash two zero zero B dash three six E dash nine two five one dash two E eight seven nine five six five seven three C on November twenty eighth 
2022, Ms. Jones filed paperwork to withdraw her plea of guilty. State Court Judge Tommy Hatfield has rescued himself from this case. On January 30, 2023, District Coordinator Larry Lockie met with Ware County School Police Chief Danny Christmas. Chief Christmas allegedly stated he found his officer did nothing wrong. Mr. Lockie asked him did he see the tape, and he said yes, but it had no sound. Mr. Lockie allegedly stated that his video had sound. He then asked Chief Christmas did he have something to play it on. Chief Christmas stated no. Chief Danny Christmas's refusal to hear the truth and his very inattentiveness proves he did not investigate this incident. Click the link below to see the complaint filed with the Ware County Superintendent and Ware County School Board members. Five https colon slash slash acrobat dot adobe dot com slash link slash review question mark yuri equals sign earn colon aid colon scds colon us colon seven two four cda zero c dash two b two one dash three eight six four dash nine fc seven dash eight nine fb five seven four f two six zero five Where County Learning Center Resource Officer Kevin H. Parton was fired from the Sylvester, Georgia Police Department for a sexual harassment complaint, see about Parton's records and click the link below. 6.
Okay. Did she do what now? I did not she, put my hands on said, anybody. I, I got something for y'all. All I said all was, I'm going to call the AAACP and he handcuffed me. That's it. No, her handcuffs called you threatened us. Because I but said, I, I got something for you guys. I'm going to call the AAACP and this is what happened. She wouldn't turn around and put her hands when she jerked away from it and run to the car and I run after her and cuffed her. So, my daughter is right here. She could tell you it's everything. All on camera. Look, it's and all my, on camera. it is. And she's in the car. Like, how am I going to get my kid home now? Yeah. You set you got a cage. Set her in the back there for right now. What's going on? It's been, it's been a while morning, buddy. I hear you. I'm not starting anything. I didn't do anything. She came at me, and so I was talking. I didn't do anything. Let's go. But I didn't do anything. Go. I don't give a fuck, bro. Shut up. Hey, 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 you listen to me. No, you fixing to go to all, uh, This is what Are I you wanting to go back to all yeah, YDC? Listen, uh, well, you kicked three, you suspended five people for shit that they did not do. Uh, but unfortunately, no one will help. I'm sorry. This lady got here. She okay. pissed on the phone. Uh, told me she was coming. I said, okay, I need you to come pick her up because she needs to go home. So when she got here, she kind of beat on the door. I opened the door, and she immediately began, which one of these so-and-so? I said, ma'am, you're not coming in my building. Go. Right. She stood there like she was going to come in. I said, ma'am, you're not coming in the building. And then as she walked off, she said, that's okay. I got something for y'all. I'll take care of that or something to the, some sort of a threatening remark. And at that sure. point, Kevin said, nope, we're not going to have any threat. <laughs> and uh, he detained her. I tried to cut her back here. Yeah. She stashed away and came yeah. up to the car, and, and I got detained. something. Yeah. And that's why I grabbed the cup. Okay. How old is the girl? Sixteen. Just you got a driver's license? I don't think she does yet. You, uh, make sure... Uh, the aunt can come get her. It's okay for the aunt to drive her car. If not, we'll the aunt can come get her and we'll tow the damn car. Yep. Not gonna act like a fool in our school. I told her. I said, you know, how am I supposed to? How am I supposed to educate this child now? That she showed her ass out here like that. You know, no. she's just gonna be a problem every day now. Hey, we got her. So we got some. We gotta charge them. I charge. Them. some more that parents have to come pick up. We'll see.
Would you, you may have to try to recharge again. Do I know? Yeah, I guess. What up? Let me see. Let's see if I can reset it. Has it worked? Yeah. You just hold the black button down. That's, uh, yeah, you hold it for three seconds, it comes on, but you can't even power it on. Ain't done nothing. I have a hard time when I'm on this recording. No, we got her information. I don't have anything on her. She's probably got her name in the system. Are you, I mean, you've arrested her. You Search her vehicle for a driver license or whatever. Yeah, I'll just get a lady step off. Don't open that door. I'm not even touching the car. I ain't doing that. She got her wallet on her. Yeah, yeah, that's what he's been telling. Every day, man. Start putting charges on him for disruption in school. Well, Kevin's encouraged me to do it, but I got too big a heart. I know it. I know. That's I the only way to. Her hand. She, huh? She got Hey, uh, Kevin called us over the radio from an alternative school, said he needed assistance. Uh, got here, he, uh, he's he got a mother on her wrist, we're going to transport her. She come out here to pick up a daughter and we're showing her ass. Um, Kevin and Dr. Nash said she made a threat as she was walking off. So Kevin went to detain her and she obstructed him from doing so. Um, so, got misdemeanor terrorist threat and uh, obstruction officer. Yes. So, so we got her in back of Kenlaw's patrol car and we are um, trying to get somebody to come get the daughter now in the mom's vehicle. If nobody comes get it, I guess we'll tow the vehicle. I just letting you know. Okay. Ah. Right. Ah. He said ten four. You got it. What's her name? Jones. Well, Tosca Louise Jones. He got her license. Oh, okay. So you have to go get a warrant on her. So what you got, misdemeanor terrorism threat? Terrorism threats and uh, misdemeanor destruction. And she didn't like threaten to specifically kill you or blow you up or nothing like that? No. So it would be a misdemeanor no. terrorism no. threat? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. And a disruption of public school? Yeah, he moved pretty good, believe it or not. He really did. He moved better than I thought he was going to. He was, he was from the door to the car where she was at. Oh, like the one hey, uh, text yeah, that <laughs> driver's license to uh, Chief, so he, he just uh, he wanted to know who it was. That dude right there got all kinds of jobs, man. Fixing buses, driving buses.
working 40 hours a month, overtime or more. If you ever need to borrow money, I probably got a call. Now she got some money coming. I have a parent here uh, requesting for um, the referral. You got the driver. Hong Yong. What at the gator there? Yes, sir. Yeah, I see you on the phone. I'm not mama, too. You couldn't get there. They just locked up mama. Well, I'm wondering who she's referring to as mama. I don't know. I think it's good to print out that much as she could. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. see what she got up there. What is it? Yeah, ain't nobody coming. Where she live at? Where y'all stay at? Beachwood. Beachwood. Okay, can we get the car? Somebody drive? Can't really leave the car here. Come on, just come drive the car. Now she got somewhere? Somebody's supposed to come get her, but not the car. They're going to call back here and come get the car. <clears throat> we need to make sure. We taking her to the Ware County Jail. They all got Florida numbers. Yeah, Florida. Who is she? Madeline. 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 Where is she from? Coming from? They from Peachwood. They come from Peachwood to pick up? <coughs> they live in Peachwood. Yeah, they do, right? Right. Yeah. What's 
So she got Lady Lane Malin coming to pick her up? No, that's Malin right there. Okay. She didn't tell me who the lady was coming. She said somebody was coming to get her. But... Get to jail or? Well, sounds like it to me. She made a threat and was strutting, right? Yeah. I mean, you confident yeah. with that? Yeah, I mean, I mean, Ned, Ned said she made a threat, she had yeah. something for you on. Yeah. And she sounded like she was, sounded like she was borderline uh, disorderly when she walked in the door anyway. Yeah. Up, so she's gonna try to put it over. Oh, yeah, she banged on it and snatched on it. Mm -hmm. you know, all them kids right there inside that door. Acting in a oh, yeah. loud and boisterous manner. Mm -hmm. and oh, my yeah. gosh. Yeah. Any cuss words slung or. I don't about cuss words. I, I, I don't. I, it, it happened all. The only thing I do, she, she said. I'll fix y'all. I'll come back. I'll, I'll take care of y'all. Yeah, I got something for you. Okay. Um, so y'all took that as a threat, right? That's exactly what it sounded like. Okay. Now, after he grabbed her to put her in handcuffs, she said, no, I wasn't threatening. And he said, yes, ma'am, I was. She said, no, I was talking about the NAACP. Well, that didn't come out of her mouth until handcuffs were Right. Yeah. Sounded like a terrorist threat to me. I let her have it. I, I treated her like she was a child. I told her flat out, I said, you are an embarrassment as a parent. You should be ashamed of yourself for the way you're behaving. I lectured her after I looked like she was a kid. I probably shouldn't have, but I did. Do what now? She called Phyllis. Uh huh. Which is a friend of the mom. Okay. On the list. But she is saying that she don't want Phyllis to come get her child or her car. Yeah. Okay. So, so we'll transport her child to the house and tow her vehicle then? Yeah. Um, we're not going to keep playing this game with her. I mean, she's not getting out of jail just because no. she don't want to. Yeah. 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 So, you know, she told me she was at work. That's why she couldn't come and get her. I said, ma'am, it's imperative that somebody come and get her. She don't look like she's been at work in England. So, how you going to do this? Go ahead and transport her. Yeah, we'll transport so her. Mike can get her and take her home. Yeah. So there need to be two people in that vehicle. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. Because I don't trust him to say no, sir. No, sir. I tell them all the time. Yeah, I don't trust him. I don't really not. Okay. Yeah, we'll transport her and come back, take the girl home. She's 16, she stay by herself. Yeah, she's 16. Uh, the record come get the car, I guess? Yeah. Do we need to pull it over in the grass or just leave it right there running? It don't matter to me. I mean, I mean nothing, you can turn it off. Ain't nothing coming until 1120. When the lady right there switch off and she sat inside the door to make it back. back. Tell her if she can't act right when we wait on us to come back. If she can get a charge too, we'll send her after. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
don't know anybody to call. How am I going to get out of jail? What's going to happen to my kid? What's going to happen to me? What's going to happen now? Is you get ready to be transported to the Ware County Jail. Oh my God. Since you wouldn't give permission for the lady to get your car. Uh, we're going to come back, take your child home, and the tow truck's going to come. No, 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 no. She can come and get my car. Please call somebody to get my car. Do not. I don't have money. I don't live here. This is what I'm telling you. I just moved here. I don't know Well, ma'am, that's what I just asked you. Was it okay for her to get the car? And please I told you, and I told you, if, they don't, if they, don't you have don't have anyone, they're going to tow the vehicle. Let me talk to my baby. I got to tell her who to call. Your baby had called Phyllis. Phyllis was on her way to pick her up. Call Phyllis back. If Phyllis going to come and get her, please call Phyllis back. I will. Hello. What's Kevin's number? How do I get out of jail? How am I going to get out of jail? I don't know nobody. I hey, I Kevin, I step back outside for a minute. Was Phyllis coming? Uh, that's what she said. Well, her mother, when we told her we picked the total car, she Is said. Is Phyllis coming? I didn't know because we're going to take the car in a moment. Did she tell you she was coming? Huh? She don't know. What? I don't understand why we're having to kick that in here. Well, mother. Changed her mind, said Phyllis could come get the car and the child. So is she coming or not? Okay. Say she's coming. Uh huh? Because she said she couldn't, couldn't didn't, didn't want to have to pay to get it uh, out of the impound. Okay. Yeah. One of the bags? Yeah. Uh, Phyllis is, I guess. I guess it's on the way. We'll stop back by when we get. I thought Mom didn't want her to take oh, it. Oh, when we told her we fixed to tow it, though, she didn't want to pay the impound fee. Oh, so she changed I ain't got the money okay. to pay impound fee. Okay. Phyllis can come get it. Okay. And the child. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Hi. Has she settled down? Uh, she's still. Appreciate the help, man. What we're here for. Sorry you had to come, but I appreciate you coming. That's all right. I am too. <laughs> I am too. We'll be back. Daughter said Phil is supposed to be on the way. So now, can somebody explain to me how this procedure works and how long the agenda? Because I don't know what I don't know. Uh, you'll have to go before a judge in the morning and have to set a bond.
Sean like you got some dog on all terrain vehicles or mud grips up here. <laughs> yeah. Something's out of line or something. Cameras out there okay, that record the whole sure. thing. Everything was heard what I said. Because at the moment I said, I have something for you. I'm calling AAACP. This is what happened. And I just want to make sure that it is recorded and everything was being okay. Oh, I
Farms in Humbleville cost me thirty something dollars, man. Now see, it used to be like fourteen bucks for a truckload, like you know, just if you went out there. Hide it in Humbleville. You if, got a truck if, bed load, ten dollars. If you went out there with one thing, or if you went out there with a whole truck bed stacked up, like it was just like fourteen bucks. Nah. So I mean thirty something. Twelve, dollars. twelve or fourteen bucks, something like that. Cause I'm. A what? whole truckload in Humvee ain't gonna cost you no more than ten dollars. <laughs> so I was like, shit. Now, for stuff like debris, like wood and right. tree trim, they ain't nothing. Really. They charge a few bucks for that. You know, they're gonna recycle that anyway. Oh, yeah. Brother. Brother, Make, Make. I recycle my own tree trim. You gotta set it in. Have a seat right there on the black bench. 